This is a story of teamwork, a reminder of the power of friends and community to overcome seemingly impossible odds. It was a young man's team that brought him to Eastern North Carolina. It was a teammate that provided life-saving aid when needed. It was a team effort to get him out of the water to an ambulance and then to the helicopter. It was the trauma team that assumed additional immediately life-saving responsibilities and then the greater health care team that provided treatment and rehabilitation as he healed. But perhaps most of all, it was his friends, family, and teammates that cheered for him and supported him throughout all of it. It was a sunny Saturday July afternoon when a few rising college freshmen were out on their boat in the waters of Pamlico River. Disaster struck when the propellers of the boat struck the young man's leg, but a friend had been trained in first aid and provided two homemade tourniquets to his leg and called 911. Paramedics called for rapid air medical transport immediately after assessing the wounds. When the helicopter crew arrived, EMS had already started multiple large bore IVs and given IV fluids. The tourniquets remained in place, but the patient was extremely tachycardic and markedly hypotensive. He was still awake and still smiling, but most of the color had drained from his expression. The East Care crew administered TXA multiple units of packed red blood cells and multiple units of liquid plasma in flight. Thanks to the quick actions of the friend and the radio communications between EMS and the flight crew, the transition of care was quick and efficient, and the patient made it to the trauma center quickly. Following the initial resuscitation and multiple surgeries, the patient underwent prolonged therapy in the hospital intensive care unit, step-down unit, and hyperbaric wound care clinic. The East Care team continued to serve the young patient until his eventual discharge home a few weeks later. This story reminded everyone who was involved in the importance of support and cooperation, the power of encouraging group of family and friends, and the value of highly trained clinical care providers in the field. The placement of tourniquets early in the administration of blood products prior to the arrival at the trauma center certainly saved this young life and provided the opportunity for this remarkable story to be shared with the world. We are grateful to be a part of this story and humbled to be a part of this healthcare system.